At least Joseph has got something to look forward to. After a lot of hard work and late nights, he's called in his big buyers from the reprocessing factories. God damn. Now he's being scared by the buyers of the soul. That's what they're seeing, the scampering all up, you know. It's like a festival. See the way the, <laughs> the clothes are around? Because they are going to get some money from their job. Steady, oh, steady. One to ten. Eh? Something way there here. You know, I they tell you. Wait, but can you open 117. Eh, uh -huh, now. 117, <laughs> Money, money. Sold copper, sold aluminium. It's going to be over one ton. Thank God. I would dance like a genie. <laughs> <laughs> you see, money makes you happy when you have some changes. You dance like Indians. Dance like Indians. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Pesha, happy birthday to you. Pesha, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. What? <laughs> Pesha is one year old today. And she. <laughs> today we are doing Pesha's by day. We cook rice, we have rice, we have cake, biscuits. Book, pencil, and sweet. She's a good girl. I want her to be a great someone. I can't choose for her. She choose by herself. Anything you wish to do, I allow her to do it. This is not easy. I'm playing. Hmm? I'm putting on the warrior now. Wait, wait. Come on, see you bye. The person that lives in Lagos here is very witty wise person you have to be wise here if you're not wise here nowhere in the world you are never going to be wise again if you travel abroad from lagos people there will know that you are wise because you are going to teach them things they don't know that is the life in lagos <laughs> Is a great place to live. It's my turn. Hey, I'm a picture. Family is so good. Hell yeah. Yeah, look up. There is tension. This tension in me. There is no need to, to be afraid. Don't be afraid. They don't just crucify people in the court. The court is a place where you get fair hearing. Everyone knows that the legal system in Lagos moves slower than the traffic on its third mainland bridge. And after a month with no work, Eric is only just having his first court appearance. 
His only way to get out of years of proceedings will be to settle out of court with Kazim's family. But Kazim's brother is in no mood for negotiating. Please, please, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Look at him. Look at him. He nearly died. He has lost one of his eyes totally. The second one is under probability now. He cannot walk anymore in his life. Can you imagine that? I've never take this thing. Boss. No. Boss. Ah, it's not easy. I can see that the guy is so angry. He's very, very angry, so I don't know what to say. And I pray God after this. I will never be in trouble in my life anymore. Is there any discussion with the family? You let them know what you can afford and what okay. you cannot do. Okay. At the end of the day, we will arrive at a compromise. All right. Thanks. God thanks. bless you. Thanks. Thanks. And thanks. save you from prison. Amen. Amen. In the end, it's not the courts or the lawyers which solve Eric's problems, but the dump boys. When Kazim's family start demanding millions in compensation, Chairman Erico decides it's time to step in. Five, only only five, five million. Within days, Chairman Erico has organized a whip round from everyone on the dump to pay off Kazim's hospital bills. Once that's done, the family are happy to accept a more manageable 300,000 naira from Eric. After five weeks of banishment, Eric is finally allowed back on the dump. So this incident that happened to Kazim, I'm sorry for it. I'm looking forward to set you everything and come back to the dump because the dump has been good to me and fine to me. Cha. At his current rate, it will take Eric five years to pay off his £1,200 debt. Better deal. Get the rhythm on 93.7. Unless, of course, his music takes off first. Champion songs! Folk Slender! And right now, Eric's songs are being played on radio stations all over the mega city. Eric and the others are just a few of the people who have been drawn to a city which is expanding at a rate of 600,000 every year. Next, you're invited to take a trip into the ghetto where many of the newcomers end up, Lagos's own version of Venice, called Makoko. There's no order. If you sit here, the water will wash it away. So you cannot get order. Everything is clean. That's why we love it. After the debate that made British political and TV history, who won? We'll have analysis from political insiders, senior MPs, a TV critic, a body language expert, and a veteran US broadcaster. Join us in half an hour.